Solving the Magic Cube puzzle in the real world involves bimanual 3D interaction. The solution is found by assembling a set of blocks together into the final shape. A cube, for instance. Our virtual version of the cube puzzle comprises a free area and a working area. The free area is like a tabletop, where all puzzle pieces are equally selectable. The working area is where the solution is assembled. It has the solution's final shape. The primary hand controls a 3D cursor with 6 degrees of freedom using a phantom device. The cursor is used to pick, move, and orient objects. Additionally, the white button can be used to allow orienting the wrist without rotating the cursor. The iPod Touch Inertial Measurement Unit allows tracking three rotational degrees of freedom. The secondary hand rotates the working area using the iPod tracking information. In such a way, the cube-shaped working area mimes the iPod orientation. Rigid Bodies Physics is available in the free area. It is implemented using NVIDIA PhysX library. All collisions are detected by PhysX using a hierarchy of bounding volumes. The 3D cursor is represented by a sphere in the physical simulation. Upon collision with the cursor, a feedback force is sent to the phantom haptic device. The feedback force is calculated using a penalty method. Ogre 3D library is used for graphic rendering. Graphics comprise local illumination, textures, and shadows to improve depth perception. For even better depth perception, we used stereoscopy. Envision shutter glasses, by NVIDIA, and the 120Hz LCD monitor are used for stereo. The working area can be viewed through a variety of different angles. Such parallax effect is obtained by tracking the user's head. For tracking, a Wii mode captures a couple of IR LEDs, placed at the sides of the shutter glasses. Different puzzle configurations are also allowed. Thank you for watching the Cube of Doom technical video. Check also the Cube of Doom video 1, a sample user solving the puzzle.